So many young readers think poems are just uninteresting. There are all these words that are put together. But today I'm going to introduce you to a book, a poetry book that includes poems that will engage our young readers and make them find poems interesting again. Now, the book I want to introduce to you is a poem book that is engaging and interesting. See the book? Because of the words and the pictures that accompany them. The book is a visit to William Blake's Inn, Poems for Innocent and Experienced Travelers by Nancy Ward and illustrated by Alice and Martin Provincian. It was published in 1981. I actually want to show you guys um, some pictures in this book. This book is composed of 12, 15 poems starting from beginning to end. Each poem is accompanied by a very detailed picture. Very detailed. Okay, so before I get into telling you a little bit about what this book is about, I would like to let you know that this book it's not only a great book to engage your readers, but it won the John Newberry Medal and the Caldecott Medal in 1982, which are two prestigious children literature medals um, that a book can earn. And it earn both of them in one year is just awesome. Now, first I want to let you guys know, what is the John Newberry Award and what are the Caldecott Awards and what makes this book so special? The John Newberry Award was one of the first, was the first children's award for books for most distinguished American children's book published in a year in a previous year. The John Newberry Award is actually awarded to the most distinguished American children's book that is published in the previous year. So this book won the award in 1982. It was actually published in 1981. This book also won the Carter Cot Award as I mentioned earlier. What is the Carter Cot Award? The Carter Cot Medal is awarded annually by the two thousand by the Association for Library Service to to children to the artists of the most distinguished and American picture book for children. So yes, is it does it have words? Yes, it does. We just went over that, but it is still a picture book because it is accompanied by pictures, awesome pictures, great detailed pictures. Okay. So, what is this book about? How is it going to be engaging to my readers? It was published in 1981. It's 2015. I got you. I'm going to let you know why this book will be engaging to your readers. This book is written from the standpoint of the author. Um, which again, to go back, is Nancy Ward. Now, the author tells the story of when she was introduced to the poetry of William Blake. William Blake is a famous um poet from back in the day. Well, she was introduced to him at the age of seven. This book describes what a day in the life of William Blake was when people visited his inn. And this inn was inhabited by such creatures like rabbits, rats, the wise cow, the king of cats, the tiger, the man in the marmalade hat, and of course, William Blake itself. It is a place of wonder and magic. The poems, some of the poems included in this book are Williams Blake Inn for Innocent and Experienced Travelers, Blake's Wonderful Car Deliveries, Us Wonderful Well, A Rabbit Reveals My Room. Willis' poetry is metrical and rhyming, so the poems are all metrical and they all rhyme, so it's not some of those poems that students are like, why? Why is this a poem? Why does it go together? So your students are going to be able to put those rhyming words together and this book could be used actually to educate as well. So, why should I read this book? Why should my readers read this book? Because this book helps teach metrical and rhyming to students. And rhyming is an important skill that students need to learn. So, I will say at the end it's something that has a tiger and cats and and lots of talking animals. So, I think if you would like to know more about this book, that you should check it out at your neighborhood library or borrow it from a friend. Also, even purchase it from your neighborhood bookstore. Now, again, it's called A Visit to William Blake's Inn, Poems for Innocent and Experienced Travelers.
show you guys some pictures on there. All right. Thanks for listening.